Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalms chapter 82, verse 8, as well as Exodus chapter 14, verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Thank you for staying with us all the way through the end. Lord God, you are a faithful God, and we say thank you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, Psalms 82, verse 8. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. All right, and so we know that this is um, all a part of the end times. Um, after Armageddon, the Lord is arising. He's going to judge the earth. And he's going to inherit the nations and the thousand year reign will begin, right? And so um, that is the first part of the scripture that he gave me. And the second part was Exodus 14, verse six. So he made ready his chariot and took his army with him. All right. And so this specific verse is talking about the Pharaoh of Egypt um, as the children of Israel are leaving, he realizes what he's about to lose. And so it makes him nervous, I guess. And it just, he, he does this, right? It says, so he made ready his chariot and took his army with him. So he, he went in pursuit of of God's people. He ran after God's people. He was not going to just let them go without putting up a fight, right? And so um, we know that God's favor was with the people and he still caused each and every last one of them to escape. Remember, he caught up with the people as they were le leading, leaving. And um but somehow they were able to cross over and he was not. And so let's go back to the completion. Arise, O God, judge the earth for you shall inherit the nations. That's, um, that's Psalms 82 verse 8 and then um, Exodus chapter 14 verse 6. So he made his ready, ready his chariot and took his army with him. So um, yes, they're just talking about the millennial reign they're speaking about um this armageddon last days um issues that are going to be going on and also the fact that the enemy is going to in the beginning of the last days when the rapture occurs he's going to be going after the saints who um are are trying to make their um their their garments white he's going to be on their tails he's going to be in hot pursuit and and he's also going to be hating on those who are being raptured right those who are being raptured he wants to go after them so instead of uh, you know because it's going to happen in the blinking of an eye he's not really going to have time to be able to catch um people who are being raptured but what he can do is know that hey this person is faithful that person is faithful so i'm going to put a lot of effort into breaking down that faithfulness. I'm going to put a lot of effort into making sure that, you know, they stand out for good or for bad instead of good, right? Or all of the wrongs that they've done um, are pointed out. And I want that person to, he might say, you know, um, to come into a spiral of condemnation, right? Or, or go downward in their thinking. And then he's got them, right? Those are his ideas. In the last days, he's wanting those righteous. He's wanting those faithful. He is wanting those who have loved um, God's name. He's wanting those who have not given up the faith and have a little strength, right? And so um, that's why he's always in hot pursuit of God's people, the righteous, right? Um, and And yeah, it says, Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit the nations. And it says in Exodus 14, verse 6, so he made ready his chariot and took his army with him. So Christ is with us, even if the enemy is in hot pursuit. 
Christ is with us. He's our shield. He's our covering. He's our strong tower. He's our way maker. And we say thank you for this covering that keeps us safe from harm. You are a shield between us and the enemy, Lord God. And I give you praise for that. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, um, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, um, but go ahead, if you say the words that I'm saying, but more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I can be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way. He's going to show you a church home, a place where you can go and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, a place where you can... Um, um, be sharpened with other believers, as well as a place where you can learn how to make disciples of all men, um, go out and tell other people about Christ. Amen. Um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down and be quiet ask him questions and wait for an answer he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so seek him with all your heart and your mind and your soul and your strength um love him with all of your heart your mind and your soul and your strength he is with you he is he is wanting to bless you but we need to reach out and ask for um the what it is that we need in the time of need amen all right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.